Yeah. Hi there. Hi there, guys. Let's get this thing started. I've already taken a look at my at my notebook here. Um and I thought something is just wrong. So I nearly gave you <laughs> gave the reviews uh, from last year or so. But now my, my notebook is, uh, has come to an end, so uh, it's completely filled up with all these uh, reviews. Uh, so I think I'm going to get myself a new one for the next year. So, uh, mm. yeah, guys, it's about time mm, to do the annual Christmas Winter Tobacco Review Video. So last year I've been at Ronnie's place. Well, maybe you know that. And yeah, well, well, you know, you're in a shop and um, everything can happen and so on. So, but last year I was, but that was a bit too much. And to be honest, over the last few months, uh, Ronnie's shop got more and more uh, busy and busy and. Uh, yeah, some years ago uh, I could sit there and do it quietly and then well sometimes a customer came and so on but uh, So last year that was a bit too much although I like a bit of experience and a bit of challenge if you know the channel you you might know that Mmm Last video nearly killed me really so <laughs> so, mm. so I thought yeah, um Ron is kind enough to to uh, to lend me some some tins, uh, so I can can borrow some tins from him to show you that. Uh, would maybe it would be a good idea to go back to the cottage again. Um, and we haven't been here for a while, so uh, I invite you to uh, to join me uh, if you're interested in Chris's tobaccos. What's going on here in Germany? So I picked nine tobaccos. Um, I try to to keep my hands on on everything possible, but um, well, you know, uh, the world is huge, and there's a lot of Christmas tobacco out there, and um, yeah, well, this can only go so far, and it's just I don't know what I can get my hands on, so you have an idea what's going on here in Bremen. Um, yeah, maybe that's interesting uh, for you. If you know the channel, if you know the Christmas videos, you know how this works. Uh, we go on one by one, uh, trying to give you a, a short overview over all of these tobaccos. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything, so I'm, I'm not telling you uh, which tobacco is inside this pipe, um, which I'm chooching on now. But I'll uh, be sure it's my favorite tobacco, or one of those tobaccos, um, uh, is my favorite tobacco. I'm chooching on this right now. I'm gonna tell you in the after credit <laughs> what it is. Um, so, uh, brings me to another point I want to mention before I start. Well, over the last few years, um, so last year, I even thought on quitting on the special edition and, and, and Christmas and winter tobaccos. His quality uh, went so low, it went so, I don't know, was so disappointing and was even a struggle to go, to go through all these special edition tobaccos. Uh, and I don't know what's wrong. I've been talking about this um, even in the summer tobacco video and before and I don't know what's going on. So I wasn't quite sure to do this even. But I thought, yeah, well, I'll give it a chance. So I started and yeah, I was positively surprised. So we have light and shadow. Of course, we have a lot of shadow. Uh, <laughs> let, me, let me just mention this before you before you're disappointed at the end of the video but there's also light on and well these days when it comes to aromatics we have uh, to be I don't know we have to be satisfied with that I guess mm, all right so I'm smoking uh, one of my Altinite pipes actually my new oh well it's not so new anymore but my latest 
RT9 with a custom built stem by my good friend Gerksel. Gerksel, thank you so much again. This is this is wonderful. Uh, and yeah, I suggest you just uh, sit back, pick your pipe, and uh, I don't know, make your own thoughts. And just want to mention um, everything I say, as you know, is just my humble two cents uh, on those tobaccos. Uh, you may think completely uh, different. That's that's. And that's the case often. Uh, not not for you maybe, but for many customers. Now sometimes the tobaccos. Uh, I don't know. I'm telling Ronnie. Ronnie, you you can't sell that. You just can't sell that. The customers they they're gonna come back and um, they're gonna hurt you. Um, <laughs> uh, but that never happens. So actually, sometimes they come back and uh, I don't know. They're just going for another tin of, of that of this tobacco I think uh, better not to smoke than to smoke this tobacco but so you see I don't know, it's very different some guys just are into the burning rubber thing or into the chemical notes and, and that's completely all right so uh, that's what the world of pipe smoking is about uh, no roots so all right so I give you I just give you my two cents and I'm gonna start now before another of my German uh, watch this is uh, I don't know commenting again uh, first first few minutes just yep it yep uh, and yeah you're right probably mm. all right first suspect we have mm, is a rat race winner edition 2023 it would be this fellow nice bronze tin let me just mention so all those tins as always as always they come with a wrapper with a paper wrapper so in this moment you already realize well that's a cold house animal so they come with a wrapper and that's very nice you put the wrapper off and you have a, a nice tin and uh, no warning stickers no nothing and I think that's this pretty good idea and that's what cold house does well you know that unfortunately of course I, I can't take all the wrappers off I can't show you all the tobaccos because uh, um, yeah well I just borrowed that from Ronnie and he wants to sell that so I can't can't break the seal but the several tins uh, I have opened here and I show you the tobacco and to be honest I, I've always shown you the tobacco in those videos but they all look the same so it's it's all the same animals. I'm gonna show you one of these uh, colas of tobaccos, and that's uh, that's uh, well, it's identical. And I think it is even uh, identical for most of these tobaccos because they use in a mixture, and they, it's all about the aroma they're putting on it. That's all right, but uh, tobacco doesn't really differ in its appearance or um, yeah, what it looks like. All right, what do they say about this? Red Race Winner Edition 2023. So they say, uh, this wonderfully decorated box is designed to prepare you for Christmas time. Well, I don't know, it's, I don't think it's so much decorated. <laughs> um, and in the same way, the content of the box tells you Christmas may come. The tobacco comes with a lot of black Cavendish and Golden Virginia. Uh, <laughs> I read this on in several descriptions over the last I don't know month even. Um, they pointed out that there is a lot of black cavernish, and they saying this is isn't less wonderful, isn't this Christmas? No, it isn't Christmas. So we all know that black cavernish is the cheap tobacco that you normally use to I don't know to to slow slow down burning to make it a bit more uh, no, comfortable and so on so it is not uh it's not a, a tobacco of great character or or i don't know it's pricey tobacco or wherever so um well anyway what they say on uh, black cavernish is uh is christmas like i don't know maybe that should tell us something about christmas um, so Black Cavendish and Golden Virginia, they provide the bed for winter aromas of Williams, Crisp Pear, Amaretto and Rum. Williams, Crisp Pear, Amaretto and Rum. Heavenly, they say. All right. So what about the smell? Smell, it is very perfume-like. 
very perfume like and it is quite chemical uh, with a bitey cherry like touch uh, on that doesn't suggest to find any Christmas beer aroma in this tobacco at all so that's what I pointed out here <laughs> at all I don't know why that's just for me so I can't I can't really detect that um, uh, what about the taste if you if you light it up after first light the chemical notes are uh, they appear as expected so even from the smell surprisingly uh, they disappear when you lower the temperature just a bit and an aroma of hard to define fruits are taken over after the first half of the bowl a hint of rum and amaretto accompanied by a cocktail of fruits seems to be dominant uh, all of that far away from tasting natural but not too bad either uh, this aroma stands up to the last third of the bowl before getting slightly harsh well, that's that's what I found so what's the conclusion about uh, this Rat Race Winter Edition 2023 smokable when you're looking uh, for a fruity cocktail uh, but nothing to write home about price would be 30 euros 90 cent for the Rat Race Winter Edition 2023 so that's been our, our first suspect let me just reline him and yeah we're talking cold house uh, here uh, that's for sure and that's uh, uh, nearly for all of the tobaccos not for all I brought uh, brought to you other tobaccos but nowadays everything is about cold house and now it's even they are uh, so from my understanding company split up and uh, now it's cop uh, the coming up uh, still under cold house and cop but I think that's gonna be last year next year everything is under cop tobacco and cop that they go on a huge shopping spree um, they're making a lot of deals with Cornell and deal <laughs> um, for example uh, so they bring in a new tobacco it's a good thing I think they're doing a little overstretch, so um, I don't know. I heard they're buying this one, that one, those rides that coming up with. I don't know. They won't want to come with a whole. For my understanding, what I heard just is they want to come up with a whole um, uh, uh, whole program from Canal and Deal and so on. <laughs> that will be I don't know more than hundred tobaccos. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, I guess uh, that it's gonna be hard to sell that. But anyway, it's not my decision. And if they come up with something, yeah, give it a shot. So, um, but I, maybe I'm gonna talk about all these things and uh, the issues and, and, and uh, several other issues regarding HU and you know, the tobaccos right now uh, in a separate video uh, when I do a night straw, perhaps. All right, let's go on. Kohlhase and Cop Winter Edition 2023. Where are you, my friend? Where are you? Where have you? So, that's gonna be this one, this fellow. I'm gonna open this fellow. I wanna show you the tobacco. Well, where's my black? Let me just. Alright, let's open this. So now you, you can see what's about the rapid thing, but you already know the trick. Uh, all right, show you the tin. Uh, uh, that's right. So, cooler than cop. So they say, once upon a time, so <laughs> this tobacco comes with a whole Christmas story. And don't expect me to tell you all the stories. So I don't know, it's getting longer and longer over the years. So. Uh, once upon a time, uh, I did a little extra here and, uh, and, and wrote yappity yap. So, um, once upon a time, yappity yap. Well, I'm going to spare you uh, the 
short story at this point and jump to the actual description. Uh, the smell of milk chocolate, almonds and juicy amaretto will wrap you up. The tobacco is made by lots of black cavernish. <laughs> There you have it. Same description. Law of Black Cavanagh and Golden Virginia. That's the reason why I said I, I, I'm not going not gonna to show you all the tobacco because uh, it's all the same. Well, in this case, pretty sure it's the same. Um, so let's take a look at this animal. Mm, what is this about? comes in this plastic wrapper so if you stole it if you do this down the center because you fell in love with one of those uh, be careful guys so it is smelly and that means aroma uh, is on its way and will disappear if you come back to it I don't know several years later and dry it out too you take a look it's not even sealed so it's a, it's I don't know Sometimes I'm just speechless. Really? It is not even sealed. So it is, <laughs> I don't know, it's just a bag and just, um, I don't know, just do it like this and uh, away with that. We put an extra aroma on it and I don't know, so. <laughs> All right, it is seasonal stuff. It is for the Christmas, it is for Christmas time. But I know Ronnie sometimes and some, some retailers they even have tins from last year or the year before just leftovers and why why just I don't know throwing that away so it's it's bone dry now but we all know sometimes you fell in love with a Christmas tobacco you can't find it anymore and you're very happy to find it next year or the year after that so but in this case yeah so all right, I don't want to complain too much. It's Christmas time. Mm. Oh yeah. So the smell. Mm -hmm. Oh, I promised you to, to show you tobacco. Overall, the complaining it. Just nearly forgot. I don't know. Can you see this? There's nothing special to it. That's that's what I meant. I'm not gonna show you all this stuff. All pretty much looks the same. I know there's some guys out there they're, they're gonna tell me now no it's not the same it's about the details and so on all right I give you that you're probably right but anyway so what about the smell when you open it a distinct smell of marzipan amaretto and coffee accompanied by slightly coffee notes will pretty much jump your face it is really, uh, and it is very, very much about marzipan, about an amaretto bit. So, this almond, yeah. Mmm, but it is, it is, it is delicious. Yeah, what about, what about the taste? Let me just, let me just repack this in original status here yeah. i'm not gonna give this back to ronnie so be, uh, <laughs> don't be afraid if you buy something at ronnie's everything is uh, sealed and fresh uh, so. all right what about uh, the taste after first light uh, you may face minor chemical notes about the almond aroma um uh so well yeah. Chemical notes by the almond aroma. I have to, I don't know, how to read my own notes. Uh, but they quickly disappear, and you will find yourself with a pretty decent nutty marzipan, slightly chocolate aroma uh, that will last to the end of the bowl. Aroma will even become more pleasant after the first half of the bowl, uh, which is quite unusual. I don't know, perhaps they, uh, they did a bit much. <laughs> And then after the first third of the bowl, I don't know, something happens, a uh, chemical process or just this, some of the aroma might just, uh, I don't know, uh, disappear or whatever. But after the first third of the bowl, it's even more pleasant than, than when you start this. And it is a pleasant tobacco. So what's the conclusion? Pretty decent aromatic, uh, which, uh, 
which fits uh, for the Christmas day uh, and even beyond. So, price is 30 euros 90 cent. So guys, there we have our first light. Uh, so this is a, um, you can go for that. Uh, what's our next, our next suspect? Uh, we have a Larson and this is, this is one of the exceptions I told you. Uh, so this is not about Kohlhase. Mm. And we all know that Larson, mm, that they're really capable of doing uh, nice aromatic tobacco so uh, normally all very decent and it is just more about uh, the taste uh, and it is it's I don't want to say never but most of the times it's not a it's not about quality so uh, it's it's more about the taste if you like it or not but the Larson tobacco is normally pretty reliable when it comes to the quality of of their aromatics um, I don't want to uh, what a boy you're here. All right, so this is uh, the last limited edition 2024 uh, Camera gets this it is a pretty nice tin I think I like this It's a, it's a bit different and I don't know I can't just like it. So what's the description? In celebration of 2024 and the 160th anniversary, we offer a truly mellow yet tasty and well-balanced Scandinavian compost blend. The mixture consists in hand-picked Virginia and Cavendish from Africa and South America and Burley from Malawi and Mexico. So then follows a, a rather long description uh, about the incredible benefits of this tobacco <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna spare you that so um, the aroma is meant to be cinnamon cloves and speculus speculus I don't know if they if you say it, speculatius in German so speculus speculus uh, cinnamon cloves and speculus and I really like those uh, components so the smell tell you about the smell in this case I can show you the tobacco these tins are sometimes hard to open so I even I don't know <laughs> damage the tin during that and it will be hard to show you that because so this one comes properly properly sealed it comes in a better bag it comes in this this golden bag and it's, it's quite more reliable and um, yeah it's much better and it comes comes sealed although I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest to to put it just down the cellar because we all know these seals are not so reliable mm, but it's but it's even better uh, than without any seal mm, I don't know can you see that nothing really special about it all right so and yeah that's this is really a difference because this is a, a very classical Lawson aromatic. Uh, it is not so overwhelming when it comes to the aroma. So you can even smell tobacco. Yeah. Yeah. You, you couldn't say it's slightly aromatic. It is a heavy aromatic, but it's not brutal. Uh, so all these other tobaccos, they are brutal. Um, well, doesn't have to be bad uh, but it's, it's it's not really about tobacco and um, and it's a bit different bit different here so the smell despite the suggested flavor of cinnamon cloves and speculus you may rather find vanilla fruit and creamy notes that's uh, what I think uh, but it's quite pleasant uh, and even mouth-watering if you uh, if you take a whiff uh, okay so the taste what about the taste after first light uh, which may come with some chemical and even rubber like notes the tobacco behaves very well and provides very tasty vanilla creamy and slightly fruity notes Cloves may be detectable, especially in the second half of the bowl. So if, if you're not up to cloves, uh, 
don't go for it. Uh, in the last third of the bowl, uh, your fantasy may also find uh, you some notes of the promised speculars. <laughs> I don't know. I, I couldn't. I just couldn't leave it. Uh, so. I just couldn't let it go. So the speculars. I was searching for these speculars because I really love it. But, um, and my fantasy uh, found me some, some of those notes. Mm. It is possible. So conclusion. Hmm. Oh, this tobacco has written Larson all over it. A very de decent and not too overwhelming aromatic. Nothing really to write home about, <laughs> uh, but a good companion uh, for the winter season. And now, the surprise, this tobacco is 27 euros 90 cents. Why do I say that's a surprise? So, um, I don't know, some years ago, Lawson, um, they used to be the high-priced tobacco, so they normally hit the 30 euros line, or very close to the 30 euros line. And I don't know, so Kohlhaasik, uh has overtaken Lawson when it comes to the price. Well, not when it comes to the quality, for sure, uh, but when it comes to the price. And so, this is rather surprisingly that this tobacco is uh, I don't know is just 27.90 cents all right let's go for it what's our next one John Aitsbury winter edition 2023 so this is really a nice tin uh, if you like these I don't know this um, how should I put it mm, these Christmas romantic mm, I don't want to say childish but mm, yeah these 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 nice romantic uh, touch tins um, you're gonna understand when I show you that but I'm not gonna put uh, put up uh, put off the uh, the wrapper but yeah you might have an idea it's a really nice tin uh, mm, what do they say Aromas of cherry and cinnamon are wonderfully transported by a huge portion of black cabinet. A golden Virginia flake provides a natural sweetness uh, and something about a cold burn, you know, natural sweetness and a cold burn. Yeah, it's very strange because uh, they're talking about uh, black cavernage and so on. It's transporting the aroma. Yeah, we know black cavernage does that. A golden Virginia provides a cold burn. So I'm not so sure. So because Virginia is not the tobacco to provide you with a cold burn. So, but uh, I don't know. Maybe they they. I don't know, they're just mixing up something. Uh, smell. What about the smell? A very intense smell of dominant and even a bit bitey cherry hits you on first whiff. Flanked by slightly detectable vanilla notes and a hint of cinnamon in the back. Yeah. <clears throat> it is what it is. So what about the taste? incredible intense chemical notes combined with a taste of burning rubber gonna hit you on first light and they will stand up to the last third of the bowl <laughs> as if that uh, wouldn't be enough the tobacco provides pretty harsh and tongue biting notes before it dies in a bitter end as I said just my humble two cents so uh, you may think completely different but I went uh, several times for that and it's not only my opinion there's some pipe smokers that are on this place uh, I really appreciate their opinion on tobaccos and uh, I didn't tell them anything um, before I asked them so I asked I asked them yeah well what do you think about the tobacco and he said yeah <laughs> one bowl and that's it uh i don't care about uh the price i didn't even write a price here but uh, uh let me guess it's 30 euros 90 cent <laughs> yeah it's all 30 euros 90 cent well it's well it's all the same 
probably the same tobacco and then uh, just, I don't know, some different chemicals and probably price of chemicals always same. Mm, I don't know. Conclusion? And it's just my conclusion, let me say this, uh, hands off. Yeah. Mm. Let's forget about this. Mm. All right. Next one. Cup limited edition 2024. Told you on uh, the future. Uh, there's no coal house and cup uh, on the tobacco. It was uh, probably just cup. That's what I heard. Mm. And it would be this one. We can always discuss the color. <laughs> So what do they say? Uh, the tobacco of 2024 created by Cobb uh, comes in a Hanseatic style. Yeah, all right. So, but that's not Bremen Hanseatic. Bremen is Hanseatic, but uh, um, well, this is Hamburg. Um, in a Hanseatic style, because of the origin of the producer in Hamburg, the anchor is the sign of hope and trust. I don't know. I don't know what's in your country. So uh, when I was young, an anchor, let's say you had a tattoo, an anchor or whatever, uh, means you've been at the sea or in jail. I don't know. Um, but they say it's a, uh, a sign of hope and trust. Yeah, anyway. The tobacco is mixed from broken Virginia and dark black Cavendish combined with a blueberry and exotic coconut. All right, so the, what about the smell? Very fruity, slightly vanilla, cherry, even a bit, I don't know, what is googie like? What, 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 I don't know what I, what I meant by that. Uh, coconut slightly in the back, but overall very chemical and artificial. That's the point, guys. That's the point. Yeah. Main issue these days on many uh, aromatic tobaccos and on many colas aromatic tobaccos, especially I think, are uh, those harsh chemical notes. Are uh, nothing natural to it. What about the taste? Pure and completely genuine, burning. Uh, fire notes hits you on first light. Underlined by discreet berry notes and some coconut room flavor. The berry note pretty much reminds you, uh, you of the Huba Bubba chewing gum rather than blueberry. If you cool down and try to go careful on the temperature, you're gonna got, get some interest in berry coconut flavors, but always underlined by slightly chemical notes. So you, you, you probably won't get rid of those chemical notes completely. Doesn't really mean uh, that you don't find any interest in the tobacco, or that you don't find it, I don't know. Um, that you can't appreciate the tobacco or whatever so I remember a tobacco from Dunn Tobaccos and Christmas tobacco it was so vanilla like and so chemical uh, at the same time and I always hated these chemical burn and rubber notes but I don't know I went for it and went for it and went for it I just one tin but uh, I emptied the tin in the end so after two weeks or whatever <laughs> because <coughs> I was always like two dogs fighting in me. So uh, one wanted the vanilla and the other one hated uh, the burning rubber. So, um, so it doesn't mean that you don't, you can't appreciate the tobacco. But my conclusion is, uh, might be more interesting for the uh, people around you. So, because oh, it has a nice room note, uh, and yeah, if if they. Uh, if the people around you, uh, if they really like uh, a childhood memory of Huba Buba, if you know or you remember the chewing gum, yeah. it's distinct, uh, it, a very distinct flavor of that uh, comes from a natural um, berry. Mm. All right. Price on this one uh, is 21 euros 90 cents 
Maybe that's an extra Hanseatic Hamburg uh, tax or whatever. So, uh, <laughs> don't believe me. I'm from Bremen, so uh, <laughs> there is a well, you probably won't know, but uh, I don't know. There's, there's some slightly mixed feelings between Bremen and Hamburg. So that's to the guys in Hamburg. Hamburg is a great city. I love Hamburg. <laughs> so. My greetings are from one hand attic town to another. Um, yeah, but but they probably won't think that Bremen is a town. They they, uh, they probably think of Bremen more as a I don't know a village or whatever. So <laughs> enough of that. Um, just forget it. Just forget what I just said. Um, always the same. Talking myself into something. Um, all right. What's next? El Muri, El Muri Winter Edition. El Muri, uh, bro, I don't know. Maybe you don't know El Muri. El Muri is um, is some kind of retailers union. So they um, they united and they uh, getting better prices and so on. So um, yeah, well, and. And, and sometimes they order something especially for Amuri, so just for those uh, retailers uh, who are part of Amuri uh, Union. And uh, yeah, they do a winter edition. They don't have a wrapper, so you, you see, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit like Kohlhase. So it, it is done by Kohlhase, of course, uh, but it's it's Kohlhase for poor for poor people, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> because I just say that because they don't have a wrapper, so uh, they have to to live with this uh, warning sticker. And it's not a sticker; it's really part of the tin. Uh, so they really painted it on, on on the tin, so you you can't get rid of that. And um, so yeah, but I don't know. Perhaps it's about the price. No, price is thirty euros ninety cent. So perhaps they put the extra dollar into the tobacco. I don't know. Uh, let's find out. So, show you that. Amuri Winter Edition. Yeah. Let's see. What do they say? They say it's a wonderful and tasty tobacco. Yeah. All right. What, what else should you say? Slightly sweet and smell of baked apple, accompanied by pleasant aroma of orange and cinnamon. The mixture is made from black cavendish and some parts of golden Virginia. Hmm, all right, we already heard that description. Black cavendish and some golden Virginia. What about the usual suspects? Black cavendish, Virginia and Burley. Oh, so that's what we normally find. I don't know. This year they, I don't know, they had a huge amount, or there were some cavernous left, or I don't know. So, so show you tobacco. I, I don't know why I show you tobacco because, yeah, guess what? Um, very much looks the same than uh, all the other animals. Um, yeah. Hmm. Cool, Anna. Oh, it is very. Cherry, slightly bubblegum like on first whiff. Very tasty and, and somehow fruity mixture. Uh, it comes a bit wet, but it isn't really silky. So you see, when I put this out, and I, you see, it sticks together. So you see, it is it is a bit sticky, um, or it's not 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 soaking wet. Mm. You can live with that. So put it back in the tin. What about the taste? Uh one or two chemical puffs on first line, and then change changing to quite pleasant. Uh, though very intense cherry fruity notes with some orange and cinnamon in the back. Tobacco, tobacco behaves pretty well and aroma stands down to the last third uh, 
of the bowl if puffed slowly. So what's the conclusion? Very acceptable, very acceptable tobacco for the winter season if you like the high aromatic fruity tobaccos and that is a, an, an important point. It is really fruity, so it's not a creamy tobacco. So not when you have when it comes to those aromatics, you have two two separated things mainly. You you can either go the fruity root or the creamy note. Um, and this is really fruity. I don't want to say even a bit sour sometimes, but it's very, very fruity. So if you're more the creamy guy, if you if you're more up to the creamy notes, uh, you go with something else. But if you if you really like the fruity notes and you want to have something uh, really Christmas like, this is really Christmas like. So it is, uh, yeah, thirty euros ninety cent. All right. What's next? Next one will be John Aylesbury. 2024 limited edition. Show your tobacco. Come on. Come on, buddy. So, I don't know. Very simple tin, but nonetheless, I like it. Mm. So, what do they say? Ah, I haven't found a short story about this tobacco yet because this tobacco came up, I don't know, last week or uh, just a few days ago even. So uh, I couldn't find really a short story, but uh, in, in the in the John Hainsbury catalog, they say one or two things, but uh, fortunately it's not a short story. Um, yeah, heavy plum notes uh, and a hint of coconut is announced uh, by the producer which is Kohlhaas, of course. Uh, tobacco pretty much is a mixture of Virginia, Broken Virginia, Burley, and some Black Cavendish. We don't believe it. This Burley is not just Black Cavendish in Virginia. So, show you tobacco. There is a reason why I can show you tobacco. Yeah, looks a bit different. You see, just brown. It's all about brown, so yeah, it fits to the tin. There's even some smaller flake parts in it. So, all right, there's a reason why I can show you the tobacco because I bought it. And now, now you may think, oh, probably good tobacco because <laughs> he bought it. Yeah, I have to tell you something uh, that never happened has never happened to me before. So, Ronnie. Ronnie has samples from all these tobaccos. So, and uh, same for this one. So he had a, a sample in a bag. And I, I tell you this because what it may be important for you too. Because he had the sample in a bag. And I was taking a whiff from the sample. And I said, wow, smells pretty good. Well, it's pretty good, but it's all about nougat. It's all about nougat, and I don't find any plum, uh, or what do they say, uh, plum and a hint of coconut. So I, I couldn't find plum or coconut, just nougat. I packed my pipe and I said, "Well, that's that's a surprise. It's really good tobacco. It's really it's really nice. Uh, so if it's really decent aromatic. So I bought it in." this tin <laughs> I opened that up and I thought well this is a completely different smell I tell you about the smell very chemical and bitey plum notes with a hint of cocoa in the back and I thought yeah that's not possible something just went wrong so I packed my pot I smoked it I'll tell you uh, what it is so the taste uh, let's just keep it short some plum and coconuts are detectable under thick layers of chemical and even burning rubber notes. And those goes on till the bitter end. So, I smoked it a first time. 
second time, third time. I couldn't believe it that I was so wrong uh, when I when I when I was tuning on the sample. Then I went to Ronnie's and I said, "Can you hand me a sample?" I took a whiff on the sample. I thought, "Yeah, it's all about nougat," and it's it is a different tobacco, a completely different tobacco. <laughs> I gave it to Ronnie and he, yeah. <laughs> he said the same so this is so obviously the company handed him so that was a, a sample uh, bag from Cobb and it was I was really announced or was really written on it uh, limited edition 2024 so it should have been this tobacco but they just did a mistake or they just did something wrong and packing the sample bags I, I, I'm just tell you that because well maybe there are retailers uh, out there and maybe it's same for you M maybe this issue or, or this came just up at Ronnie's package but I don't think so um oh I don't know but so it is possible uh, that if you get a sample of this tobacco, uh, the sample isn't what you expect to have on a tin. So, just telling you that. So, because this tobacco, um, I wouldn't have bought this tobacco, that's for sure. Um, and my conclusion uh, uh, in this case is I rate this one under the special interest category. So, <laughs> you may like it. You might like it if you like some chemical notes burn rubber so yeah, but for me about this is special interest so um price is uh, 31 euros 90 cent okay let's let's get to something else the two left still two tobaccos to go for and now next tobacco mm, next tobacco is a tobacco I wanted to talk about for quite a while. It is not a specific. It's not a special edition. Uh, this is not a uh, specific mm, Christmas tobacco, and it's not even winter tobacco. But I don't know. It is great tobacco. I know that's still tobacco, but I like it anyway. Uh, so, and this would be autumn evening and i don't want to say too much about this tobacco because most of you probably know it but i've never been talking about autumn evening and autumn evening except for the aromatic tobaccos for my clan i really love this <sighs> best of show and all these these great aromatics from um <sighs> yeah on my clan but they're gone so anyway, mm, I still have one or two tins of that, but um, they're, they're no longer available on the market. But all the evening uh, it is pretty much right behind those tobaccos for me. So uh, I re always liked all the evening and was was always eager to get my hands on all the evening. Um, and now um, they are available in Germany because. Kodas and Cop or Cop, they uh, imported uh, those tobaccos. Only difference is the tin. So they have a, uh, I don't know, a steel made tin. So it's not these alloy, it's not this alloy tin you normally know. And it's not because they thought, yeah, for the German uh, guys with their big hands, we need a, I don't know, a, a tin from steel or whatever so they crush this uh no that's not the reason the reason is that they couldn't get the tins into the country <laughs> strange enough they want so they had to to get the tobacco and then i had to to find some tins <laughs> um because i don't know it was too it was just too um i, I would have it would have been too much money to import the tins also and it's probably about taxes and so on we don't have to understand but they did a pretty good copy and the tobacco is the original tobacco so i've smoked 
all in the evening right from the US uh, a lot and uh, so it is it is the original tobacco they packed it in uh, 57 gram so it was really uh, they were really up uh, to just I don't know doing everything like the original it was important to them uh, I don't know I thought it's a bit ridiculous so they ha could have packed 50 gram and normal pouches and so on I, I, I wasn't sure why to go the extra mile and, and it's a lot of a lot of money it's not cheap tobacco if you if you do it like this uh, but they really wanted to do exact copies uh, uh, even when it comes to the tin so they so there was a huge delay uh, on hitting the market because they were searching for the right tins uh, for for a while mm. now it's not the original alloy tin but uh, heavy so it's a heavy steel tin I don't know the German Cornell and deal version. So anyway, mm, tell you, I tell you about the tobacco just in case there's some of you uh, who don't know whatever. So, uh, so description. They say our proprietary Red Virginia Cavendish is lightly cased uh, with a delicate maple flavor resulting in our best selling aromatic blend. And they say it's their best seller. Um, the smoker will appreciate the taste of Virginia's while those around will flock to the warm inviting fragrance. I'm not too sure that you really can say it as a slightly touch or what do they say with a uh, is lightly cased. <laughs> I'm not so sure it's a heavy aromatic. Uh, the smell is very sweet and maple syrup like um, but there are other ingredients as well for sure such as citrus rum vanilla uh, whiskey and they all combine to a to wonderful melange mixture well, one i don't know there's a guy on the channel who wrote me uh i like that you don't use the word uh melange uh i like that you say mixture so <laughs> I don't know, never thought about melange, but in this case, I don't know. Um, so what about the taste? So the taste is very deep and rich bodied sweetness. Uh, and this is something, especially for, for my, my European friends, uh, who may not have too much experience with those American aromatics. Uh, and this is, this is, for me, it's some kind of, of prototype for American aromatics. Um, well, we all know Lane Limited, number one, and so on, which could also be seen as a, um, I don't know, as an icon, even. Um, and this is, there is a difference between our American aromatics and European aromatics. And like John once said, we want the things we can't have. <laughs> Uh, and John was right about that. I was asking him to. I don't know. No, I, I just told him. Oh, unfortunately, can't get my hands on this tobacco. Uh, he was talking about, and he 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 wrote me back, and he said, "We want the things we can't have." Yeah. But so yeah, Mer many Americans they like the European aromatics, and I don't know. I for myself, I really like the American aromatics because I like this this really huge bodied sweetness this deep full flavor aroma um yeah i just like it and you you can you can well you can still mix the tin with i don't know um double the amount of virginia and you still have a pretty heavy aromatic tobacco <laughs> um yeah that provides a wonderful uh room note on, on first light um if if you don't go too hard on it it will behave uh, even up to the last third of the bowl and maybe it's even better for german smokers than for most of the international pipe smokers why is that yeah because most of the german pipe smokers they use a nine millimeter active charcoal filter and and that's that will cut off the edges uh that might appear and they will take all the water that comes from that and um, yeah, and so the harsh notes that heavy aromatics um, may have, especially uh, after the first half of the bowl. And <coughs> so 
uh, and that was that is an idea that Joshua gave me uh, when we were talking about uh, aromatic tobaccos and autumn evening um, in specific because um, Joshua was the first one uh, sending me a tin of autumn evening just said and that was years ago and he said you, you just have to try this and this is one of the tobaccos I'm really um, happy about having here now uh, imported by Kohlhauser and for my German watchers or yeah, or, or those who may be able to get their hands on on tin sold in Germany, uh, European Union or something, uh, that may be something. If you if you haven't had this, this may be something for the winter time and for for the Christmas time, even if it's called autumn evening. Um, all right, so this is uh, something I wanted to to talk about uh, for a while. A very proper tobacco for the winter time not only for autumn evenings that's my conclusion um the price would be 19 euros 90 cent for 57 grams so it is an expensive tobacco here in germany at least all right if you have the chance go for it although i knew that um there's some guys that they they of course, they think completely different because I saw rating rating the the um, pipe tobacco reviews dot com rating is under three. I don't know, two point eight or something. Uh, but oh, this is just my humble two cents. I like it, and well, there is probably a reason why why this is the best selling tobacco uh, of Cornell and Deal. Mm. At least when it comes to the aromatic, I, I, I'm not sure if it's overall. Mmm, I have a last tobacco for you. So if you if you're looking for something that isn't too aromatic or it's more original or it's more it's more into the natural description or natural direction, so there may be a last uh, su suggestion I have for you, uh, and that will be tradition number three Fallen there is a video on the channel about tradition number one it is called honor and tradition I think mm. so I haven't been talking about tradition number two my apology for that and there's a I don't know feels like a gap so uh, but <laughs> and I I have a tin of tradition number two and I always wanted to talk about I just didn't find the time maybe maybe I'm gonna do this on the night stroll but I don't know there's so many things I, I, I going I wanted to do on, on the night stroll um that's gonna be a long ride then um I don't know so but let's talk about tradition number three uh, first so take the wrapper off a very very nice tin so even with the radius on it so you can feel that and it's, uh, it's showing the, the old found uh, house i think mm. pretty nice so you, you can use the tin for for something after that yeah what do they say they say it's virginia loose cut and broken dark virginia combined with some burly cube cuts you you hear it it's even more complicated uh, than the other stuff so virginia loose cut and broken dark virginia combined with some burly cube cut all that underlined with a very slightly aroma of rum and vanilla and now all right so we heard we heard the description slightly underlined a lot and it's never true um <laughs> oh when it comes to those tobaccos but in this case it is true Show you tobacco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like tobacco. So uh, you can, you can, you can even find some flake parts in it. Mm. You see? Yeah. Well, it's a ribbon, some some cubes, some flake parts, and the smell is is pretty nice because you can still smell some tobacco notes and. Of course and it is a bit so it it reminds me of some 
of some bakery goods. Let's say something like a cake. So some plum cake, but not a tobacco plum cake. So maybe some, some, yeah, something like that. Something you would you would like to to go for with a coffee or something. Very delicious. Mm, dry fruits. Yeah. Mm. And the tobacco. The tobacco behaves pretty well, and you can you can find out all the natural components, you know, the the Burley and the Virginia. You're gonna find that, and it's really well. It's it's like they say, it is slightly underlined, and on first line, uh, maybe you have more of the aromas, more vanilla, mm, and uh, the rum maybe. Mm. but you can still detect the tobacco so it is a pretty decent um i'm not so sure to say aromatic tobacco slightly aromatic tobacco in a very yeah in a very it's made in a traditional way i don't know if they do it in a traditional way but it appears like that or just seems like that and that's what they say tradition number three so that's what this line is about to do tobacco I don't know in some kind of traditional style a bit more well and tradition doesn't always mean it's just natural so uh, tobacco has always been cased and uh, always been there's always been uh, some aroma or started with transporting the tobacco in an old rum barrels and so on so they um what's has long tradition to go for for something um but at the same time um uh, not to forget about the tobacco itself and that i think that's nicely done it isn't something uh you want to have on the lonely island and you just have one tobacco for sure i wouldn't pick this tobacco but it is an interesting tobacco and you might give it a shot What's about what about the price? The price is ooh, embrace yourself. Uh, thirty-two euros ninety cents. All right. Tradition doesn't come for free. Oh, seems like that. Mm, all right. Yeah, guys. This is this, and this book. This book is finished, so I'm gonna get myself a new one for next year. So, what's the conclusion about all this? Mm, let me do a last relight. Mm. Tobacco comes to an end here. Mm. Conclusion. Not a winner or Christmas tobacco, but you can take it as such you can go with this if you want to go for the fruity notes and a very Christmas Christmas like style you can go with this one if you don't want to want to be I don't know be overwhelmed by the aroma if you want to still want to feel some tobacco if you I don't know, just looking for, for a good treat. Um, maybe a proper choice. It is decent tobacco. Well, it's a lost in tobacco. Uh, you can go with this one. If you are into the Christmas thing for for the Christmas days or whatever, for, for the heavy winter days, this all this also a good choice. So, but it is heavy aromatic will hit you and, and those around you. Uh, but in a positive way so um, yeah you can go with this one so guys I think and that's just for me this year um, those positive results um, that, that's 
been more than I, I was, uh, I don't know, I was expecting. I didn't expect too much, so after all that came up over the last few years. All right, guys, that's it. And that's probably, probably that's it for, for this year, even. Uh, Christmas time's coming. And I hope you all are well. Hope you all have a great Christmas time and something good to chew on. And um, I don't know. Hope you you're gonna be all right. You stay in good health. You and your family and uh, those around you. And yeah. Do not forget uh, about Christmas time and what Christmas is about. Yeah. Let's just try to uh, try to I don't know be a bit friendly at the end of the year or whatever uh, whatever we can do to make this world a better place uh, as pipe smokers. Um, well, let's see, and um, we all hope for 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 a good year of 2024 and for many videos for and for for the spirit of the whitey pc um i don't know that's just wants us to 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 be part of that or just makes us uh believe in the whitey pc or um or enjoy the whitey pc at least um doing some videos and having a chat and communicate about pipe tobacco and all those things uh that that's my wish for christmas probably um all right guys that's it for now hope you all are well hope you have something good to shoot you on and take good care and perhaps see you again Listen, there's something I missed. Nearly forgot to pack a pipe over all this. I don't know. <laughs> all right. Take what I'm smoking. It's good for this. <laughs> 